Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. If you are just hearing my voice for the very first time, hi, my name is Fikemi and if you're a returning subscriber or reviewer, thank you so much for joining me once again in today's video. Now from this box, from the thumbnail, it's pretty straightforward what I'm going to be talking about today. I am going to be talking about the QCYL2 neckband ANC Bluetooth earphones. And now if anyone had told me that I would literally review a neckband earphone or Bluetooth earpiece on my channel, I would tell that person to stick it where the sun shines. Now the Bluetooth device itself comes inside this craft box um, and it also has some tiny trinkets, trinkets inside that I will get to in a minute. But other than that, the packaging is fairly simple, but at the same time, the earpiece sits properly and actually it's actually well packaged um, inside the box. So you have, you don't, you don't run the risk of it, it getting damaged um, during transit and whatnot. It's actually well packaged, if I might say so. Now, other than that, the inscriptions on the box are fairly simple. Other than the fact that there's, there's a QR code that says, oh my God, I do not know what they were thinking, but if you scan this, it actually just takes you to, I think WeChat or so, but all in all, it's just a very simple packaging. Now at the back of the box is where you have more information about the earpiece. Um, I really don't have the energy to type, so I'm just gonna hold this box as close to the camera as I can so that you can read all the information of it. Now this is the QCL2 neckband ANC Bluetooth earphones. This is model number IN181. This is um, 5.0 Bluetooth version. Now it has a charging time of approximately two hours, a standby time of 20 to 290 hours, depending on whether you're using the ANC active noise cancellation or not. Talk time, music time, operation, 10 meters with no obstacles, battery type, has a battery capacity of 210 milliamps um, and whatnot. So you get more information at the back of the box. Now it also comes with an instruction manual that's in Chinese and English, and then a very short micro USB cable. I do not know why they make these cables this short. And also two additional sizes of the earbuds, the small and the large. The earpiece itself comes with the medium size of the earpiece. Now the Neckband earpiece is properly packaged and sealed. Um, all the parts are properly wrapped in nylon so that you know it, you avoid scratches and whatnot during transportation and even um, during the production process. So you instantly know when you've gotten an original unused earpiece. Now on the right side is where the control or the right side has the control buttons of the device and also houses the microphone and the charging port. I will get to that in a minute. Well, the only branding that you would get on this device is on the left side. Um, it's just branded QCY, which is very simple. And the cable is a flat type cable. It's not round, so it doesn't tangle easily like round cables. And the earbuds or the ear tips are magnetic. Most neckband ear pieces have magnetic tips, so you can literally just, you know, hang this on your neck and just clip the two um, ear tips together and you're good. Now, this is the control unit. It has different indicators for when you have um, Bluetooth connected and when the device is on, is, when the device is on. And now this is the charging port. So you would plug any micro USB cable to this and charge it to the device. The device takes like one to two hours to charge depending on um, how full the battery is, but it doesn't take so long. Now this is my best feature of this neckband earpiece, the ANC, the active noise cancellation. And you know that it's on by a green indicator light. Now this is, when this is on, I don't know how to describe this feature. It tunes out all the noise in the environment, more like a very low hum. I think it's white noise. It introduces white noise into the ears and you wouldn't, it literally cancels out all the sound in the environment and just gives you that silence, very comfortable silence so that anything you are listening to on the device, the sound comes through. Now, if it's one thing I've noticed testing out this particular earpiece is that not everybody 
can actually not not everyone can hear the frequency that the ANC operates on. So to the untrained ear, it looks like or it, it feels like nothing is going on. But to those that can hear it, there's really something. Now to connect the device itself, it's fairly simple. Just turn turn on the Bluetooth of your phone. I've paired the device with this particular phone before. So all I need to do is turn it on and manually connect it to the phone or just wait for it to automatically pair. But sometimes since I'm holding the phone and holding the device at the same time, I will just manually pair it or let it um, the neck band pair with the phone automatically. So to turn on the device, you just need you just need to hold the power button down like one to two seconds. And once it's on, you can pair with your device. So once it's in pairing mode, you would literally see QCYL2 on your screen. So you can go ahead and click on that or just, you know, once it's paired with your phone, it would um, connect automatically. Now I'm going to use this earpiece to try to play some music. I'm not going to play anything, obviously, for um, in this video because of copyright. But I am going to try to demonstrate all the things. Um, that you can do with the control button and tell you what I noticed about it. Now the power button itself plays and pauses music. So you just have to hold it down and it would pause whatever it is that you are playing. And at the same time, it would resume play. Now the middle button is supposed to be the volume control and also you are supposed to be able to use that button to skip to the next track forward and backward. Um, also for the volume, you should be able to reduce the volume and increase the volume. But if it's one thing I've noticed, um, I've used this for a couple of weeks now and the only thing that works with this particular control is the volume. Now I can't use it to skip tracks, I have tried numerous ways to skip you're supposed to um double press or triple press that particular button but it doesn't skip unlike for the volume where you just hold down to reduce the volume or just lightly tap to increase i like the fact that it's like a sensor so it it it, it sees the motion or it feels the motion of the hand actually for the volume control but if it's one thing for the skip function it doesn't quite work i don't know if i got a defective unit i don't know if that's i don't even know if this particular feature is you know it's common to this particular device but if it's one thing the skip function never has not worked for me since i got this particular device it's quite discouraging but i don't know if you've gotten this device let me know in the comment section did you have difficulty using it to skip tracks so if it's one thing since i can't skip i have to manually skip the tracks while holding the phone and it can be very annoying sometimes because i really don't want to hold my phone and you know play music at the same time so the fact that i cannot skip tracks while this device is on my neck actually it doesn't I mean, <laughs> it's something that I, I'm, I'm quite disappointed at. I was really looking forward to that feature. You know, the newer earpieces or neck band earpieces have that. You can literally skip tracks while it's on your neck. So just curate a playlist and just keep moving forward from there. If you get, a, if you get this device and it has this particular problem, the volume control works perfectly well. So, well, I, I guess, I'll have to take one out of two. <laughs>
answering the call is actually quite seamless. But the only thing is that it's actually quite difficult to end the call with this. So if you're getting this, just know that you might have difficulty ending your calls when you do receive a call with it. But now the earpiece itself is quite, um, would I use the word? It's a decent piece. I actually got it for a steal. I got this for less than 3,000 Naira on Jumia, Nigeria, and it actually looks good. It's comfortable on my neck. The ear tips are comfortable in my ears and the quality of the of the sound from the piece itself is not it's not great but it, it's not bad and and it's quite usable so if you have gotten this earpiece do let me know in the comment section um i'd like to hear your thoughts about it um yeah that's it i will see you in my next video bye mm -hmm.